Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try this sums page number 164, question number 1. We have to find that what will be the 50% of 164. So we have to find that 50% of 164. If this full quantity is 164, then we have to find out that what will be the 50% of this number. So which number we will get when we will make 50% quantity of 164. It is same as if we have a number that is number 4 and if we are making this 50% of number 4 then it is going to be number 2. The same way we have 164 number we have to find out what will be the 50% quantity or the number for 164. So let us start with numerical A that 50% of 164. Now this percentage is there we are converting into fraction. So percentage when we are converting into fraction we are going to divide with 100. So 50 divided by 100 of 164. So F suggests multiplication. So we will get here 50 divided by 100 in multiplication with 164. Now let us simplify this. So we will get here 50 to the 100. So we got here 164 divided by 2. So 82 to the 164. So our number is 82. That means 50% of 164 is 82. The other way of finding out 50% quantity of 164 is to divide with 2. When you will divide 164 with 2, we will get 50% of 164. B numerical. 75% of 12. So let us convert this into fraction. So 75 divided by 100 percentage to fraction of 12. So of we are converting into multiplication. So 75 divided by 100 into 12. Now let us simplify this. So 15 into 5 is 75 into 3 into 4. So in denominator we will get 20 into 5. So 5, 4 and 20 we can cancel it off. 5, 3 is 15. So 3 into 3 we will get 9. So, 75% of 12 is number 9. Numerical C. 12, 1 by 2% of 64. So, here mixed fraction is there. Let us convert this into fraction. So, when mixed fraction is there, how to convert this into fraction? This two will get multiplied and product. Into the product, we are adding the numerator. So, we will get 12 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2. That means our fraction is 12 into 2 is 24 plus 1, 25 divided by 2. So, our fraction is 25 divided by 2 percent of 64. Now, percentage to fraction divided by 2 and in division 100 in multiplication with 64. Now let us solve this term first. So we have here 25 divided by 2 in denominator 100 is there. Let us reframe this term. So 25 divided by 2 in division 100 is there. So 100 in division 100 the 1 is there. So when we are converting this division sign into multiplication we have to write reciprocal of this 100. So 1 divided by 100. So our term now has become 25 divided by 2 and that is in multiplication with 100. So 25 in division 200 will be our simplified term. So I am writing directly here 25 in division 2 in multiplication with 100 in multiplication with 64. So 25 fours are 100 and we got here 64 divided by 8. Now 8, 8 is 64. So we got here 8 as an answer. That 12 1 by half percentage of 64 is 8. Question number 2. 
eight percent children of a class of twenty five like getting wet in rain. How many children like getting wet in rain? So we have to find out the number that how many children got wet in rain, and that is eight percent of twenty five. So eight percent of twenty five will be what number that we have to find out. So with unitary method also we can find out that total total strength of student is 25 total students are 25 so 25 students are there and that strength is 100 percent so we have 8 percent children who got wet in rain so which number will it be so 25 in multiplication with 8 in division 100 so we will get here 25 4 is a 100, 4 8 is a 2. So two children got wet in rain. Another method to solve this numerical is 8% of 25. So 8% let us convert this into fraction. So 8 divided by 100 of means multiplication of 25. So let us solve this. So 8 into 25 in division 100. So 25 4 is a 100 and 4 2 is a 8. So we got here 2 as an answer. So 2 children got wet in rain. Try this sums from page number 164. First question is 9 is 25% of what number? So 25% we have. So let us understand the numerical first that if this whole quantity is there and this is a 25%, this is a 100% and this quantity is 25%, then this represents 9 number. Then what will be the whole quantity? That what will be the 100% quantity if 25% quantity is number 9? So of what number 25% is 9? So direct method is if we are adding 75% into that, 3 more 25% into that, then we will get 100% quantity. So we can directly do this that 9 into 4 we can do and we will get the answer that 36. So 36 is the number of which 25% is number 9. But let us do this step wise. So numerical 1. 9 is 25% of what number? So let us first do it with unitary method. So 9 is how many percentage? It is 25%. So we have to find out the whole quantity. So whole quantity is 100%. So what will be the number associated with 100% quantity? So 9 into 100 in division 25. So 25 fours are 100. So we got here answer 36. That 25% of 36 is number 9. Now let us do it another way. That 5% of x equals to 9. We are assuming that the whole quantity is x. So percent let us convert this into fraction 25 divided by 100 of we are converting into multiplication into x equals to 9. So x equals to let us take this 25 divided by 100 to other side. So 9, 100 is in denominator will go to numerator and 25 will go to denominator. So 25 fours are 100 x equals to 36. So we can write answer here like 9 is 25% of number 36. Second numerical 75% of what number is equals to 15. So let us first do it via unitary method. So 75% is number 15 then what will be the 100% quantity of the same number? So 100 into 15 in division 75 will be there. So let us simplify this. We will get 20 into 5 
in multiplication 5 into 3 in division we will get 15 into 5 so 15 we can cancel it off with 5 and 3 and 5 will cancel it off with 5 so we will get answer here 20 let us try with another method in which we are guessing the whole quantity so let so let our whole quantity be x so 75 percent of x is the number 15 so let us convert this percentage into fraction so 75 divided by 100 of means multiplication x equals to 15 now x equals to we will get 15 in multiplication with 100 in denominator 75 as we are taking this full term to other side so we will get here x equals to 15 5 za 75 5 20 za 100 so x equals to 20 so our answer here is 20 so thank you for watching and learning with us if you have any doubt please comment down below i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe learn yourself Thank you.